Okay, so today uh, I'm going to show you the quick and dirty method of cleaning the outside of your RV. Um, before you ask, why don't you use a pressure washer? Well, if you have any tiny little leaks or things that might become a leak, a pressure washer is a great way to make sure that they make that they fully become a leak. Um, and the other thing is that the uh, cleaning products. The black streak removers and such that RV dealerships offer are uh, expensive and sometimes ineffective. So my friend Sean, uh, who's a boat guy, turned me on to this method of cleaning. So here are the materials we are going to need. Okay, we are going to need a stiff bristle brush, a hose, and three things of toilet bowl cleaner. Toilet bowl cleaner, you're asking. Why? Well, think how white it makes your toilet bowl. Think how little work you have to do to get it that white. Um, and you know, then you will have your answer. So, um, we first have to button up the trailer. So I have closed the front hybrid bed. Um, I've got to close up all these windows and then we'll go ch and we have to disconnect the power and then we'll do top the top of our trailer. Uh, you know, this has been patched a whole bunch of times and we are going to do more patching today. The thing is it has to be a clean surface for the, uh, you know, self-leveling material to adhere. So, uh, first thing we have to do is clean it. And this looks awful, right? You can see all of this nasty crap, this scaling. So uh, we are going to do our best to try to remedy this situation with our friendly neighborhood Lysol toilet bowl cleaner. Step one, we are going to wet the thing down. Step two, and we're gonna do this in sections. We're gonna do the front section first, we're gonna work our way back. Okay, we'll do it, sort of cut the roof into three sections because this stuff works really fast. So uh, wet it down, uh, throw a bead of Lysol down, scrub it with the broom, rinse it off. Then move back to the next section, same thing. Okay, light mist of water, nothing crazy. Wet the here thing we go. down. Next thing we're gonna do, put our broom down here. We're gonna take our toilet bowl cleaner. We're just basically gonna spray some over this area, okay? Then we scrub, easy enough. Now, we've scrubbed it in, we've let it sit, we're gonna rinse it off. So you can see like it doesn't you know restore the coating or anything you can see the transition here between the dark stuff and the light stuff so that's the stuff we scrubbed we're going to do another pass with the lysol there um just get each section of the roof nice and clean and then uh, we're going to this is the back. roof after much better i mean i'm still probably going to have to reseal it like put a new coating of epdm on top of it but uh it's pretty good and it's drying quickly and it is a nice clean white for the most part much less dingy this is a big difference too and seeing along here so now we're going to uh we've we've sort of checked everything out gone inside made sure there are no leaks um then we're going to do the back and we're going to do the front then we'll do the sides so climbing down we need a blazing hot day here okay climbing down we can see let me bring the brightness up here you can see this looks kind of nasty, okay? So this is our next bit. Um, after that, we're walking around the side. Again, you can see, you know, this is some of the water, but this is some other streaking and stuff. Uh, the front looks like it really needs a lot of love. So you know, hopefully we're gonna have all this cleaned up and it'll be in really good shape um, soon. I'll show you the one more side. Okay. And then this is the main side. So with all this done, uh, with all this to do still, all four sides, I'm gonna go in and grab a glass of water. We'll come back out and we will attack okay. the rear. So we can see it's starting to look really, really good on this side. Okay, so we've done two sides. Uh, we have to do the front still. And the front is probably where we're going to notice the most dramatic difference. Okay, so we can see there's black streaking all over the top of the thing. There's streaking down the front stuff on the tank insert like it's not very pretty i'm gonna have to replace that hold down bracket but this looks pretty gross um and it obviously needs to be resealed right we've got this so we've got to deal with that um we've got to reseal around the edges of this thing and again sealing isn't going to adhere if it's gross so here we go front and side yeah we'll see the you know, nasty streaking and the black marks and the gross looking wheels. All right, so you'll see that uh, everything looks pretty darn good. Um,